Now, as you all know, I'm a very rude person, to say the least. I'm very cynical. I don't like a lot of things, and I like to rip into things and make fun of them, or absolutely destroy them with my incredible roasts. But in my past, I've made fun of a lot of people, uh, some deserving, some may not be. In my uh, couple of videos ago, I made fun of TikTok thoughts, uh, or the talkies, or whatever the fuck I call them. I don't remember. You think I remember what I record on my videos? Anyway, I made fun of them, but to be honest, they're just, you know, some girls who want to get a little bit of clout. So they show off what their god, what god gave them, or what their dad gave them. Which, honestly, I don't respect, but I do respect. And on my last video, I made fun of Lochi, who, honestly, you know what, as all things considered, she's just someone who's trying to make some funny, good content. She's failing miserably, but she's trying at least, right? But today's topic is something that deserves to be ripped into. Today's target or victim, no wait, no. Today's subject, sounds more scientific when I say subject, is something that deserves to be ripped a new one. And it's TikTok e-boys, specifically Sri Lankan TikTok e-boys. A very important thing for being a TikTok Jesus, my boom arm is fucking loud. One of the most important things about being a TikTok e-boy is that you need to have at least three quarters of your chest showing because you need to show that you are your heart. Because, you know, women, they have, te they have tests? <laughs> uh, I haven't recorded a video in a while. My brain is just not cooperating with me for some reason. Women, they have tits. They have boobs. They have... A nice ass, you know, they have a lot of things that they can show, but men, we only got a cock, and we can't really show that on TikTok or any sort of, you know, online website, except, you know, if you go to a different type of website, but on most places, uh, showing a cock would be considered indecent or against community guidelines, so you can't really do that. So what is the other asset a man can show? Well, one of those is your chest or your muscular body that you spent hours building and you know probably spent thousands of dollars on supplements uh, trying to build it up because you physically can't build your body and you need supplements to do that trust me I worked at a supplement store I know and the next thing is your hair now I don't know how these people do it but I've seen some ridiculous fucking hair on these TikTok e-boys. I don't know how they manage to do this. I don't know if they spray their hair with like three cans of hairspray and you know all the gel they can find on the entire planet to make it look like this, but they somehow pull it off. I mean, I can't even make my, my hair stand up for two minutes before it flops out to my fucking stupid face. It I, I don't get it, to be honest. I would like to meet one of these people and ask them, you know what? How the fuck do you get your hair to look like that? As you can see, my original uh, appraisement of e-boys was correct that you need to show your chest. No matter where you are, no matter what kind of place it is, no matter what time it is, you need to show your chest. It's very important. They also do this uh, really incredible thing, which is that, you know, they have like four sets of clothes that they probably paid a lot of money for. And obviously you can't, you know, wear it outside because, you know, you're an e-boy. You don't really have a social life. You just make stupid videos on TikTok. So obviously you have no way of showing it off to other people. So the only way you can do that is make one TikTok with 17 different fucking outfits. That wasn't a, that wasn't a e-boy TikTok, but I just wanted to show that TikTok. Just look at the size of that fucking chair. Jesus fucking Christ, who buys chairs like that? Yeah, I was honestly surprised that two of the guys were, you know, completely covered and didn't, you know, show any chest. I was like, oh wait, you know what, maybe they might break the stereotype of e-boys showing their chest. 
Nope, in comes the third guy and he shows his chest. You know what, this is the crackhead version of Spider-Man No Way Home. Spoiler alert. Yeah, I think he should leave that woman. Uh, she, she, she doesn't seem like a good person. Why would you throw your bag on the floor when your boyfriend knocks someone else's bag down? Oh, picking up her bag and giving it to her. Oh, that, that's like cheating. You know, there's a lot of things that I don't understand in this world. That's why I make fun of them. Because if you don't understand something, make fun of it and ruin it for everyone else. That's the mentality I live by. But... There's something that's beyond me that I will never understand, and that's women. Just all of them, to be honest. We unkindled are worthless. Can't even die right. <laughs> Not trying to be racist against my own people here, because I myself am Sri Lankan as well. But can you tell the difference between all all these people? They all look the same. It's like they took one guy and put a green screen on the other people's face and just slap the same face on I, <laughs> there's no fucking difference the only difference is they're slightly wearing hair and a little bit of hair color that they have you know what? i can hear someone in the comment section being like oh you're making fun of them for dyeing their hair but you do it yourself Sh shut the f this, you think this is dye this is not dye this is the blood of my enemy soaked into my hair and it's just stuck there it's not it's not gonna go away it's all the people that have i've made fun of all their blood has been soaked into my fucking scalp <laughs> why do i make these videos why i can be i can i can write a script i can go ahead and write a book I can do anything. I can do literally anything that is so much more productive than looking at these TikToks and trying to make a joke out of them. Because I'm not gonna lie, alright? Making these videos, it may not look like it, but it's fucking tough. It is so hard to find something that I can actually make a joke about because sometimes, no matter how terrible it is, you don't have something to say about something because it's so trash. There's nothing you can say to make it Make it sound funny. I, I'm really trying hard to make something funny out of these, but it, it's it's fucking it's fucking hard. Man. You you have no idea. So please, please hit that subscribe button and give me give me a like, right? I'm I'm really trying here. I'm trying to make something some entertaining content for the people out there, for the people who have been brain dead by these TikToks. You need to start watching some good content. Like my content, subscribe right fucking now. Now I'm gonna warn you, in the next TikTok, you're about to see one of the best actings that I have ever seen. Leonardo DiCaprio, sit the fuck down, right? You have no idea what the hell acting is. Learn from this mad, this boy, this absolute chad who has figured out what acting really is. What are you trying to wipe? There's nothing on your fucking face. Are you trying to wipe the shame away from making this goddamn TikTok? Because that's what it looks like. But hey, that's just an opinion. The right opinion. And if you disagree with that, well, there's really nothing you can do except, you know, leave a comment uh, if you do disagree with that. But I think most of the people who watch me are, uh, are you know, in the same intellect level as me and definitely would agree with me. So, uh... Press that like and subscribe to the channel because I'm going to be making a lot more videos. I know I sometimes say that I don't upload as much as I want to. I will upload. Just shut up. Sh shut the fuck up. I will upload, alright? Just calm down. Wait for your oatmeal to come to you. Don't go to the kitchen and ask for the oatmeal, okay? Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a bunch of children in my basement that I have to go and feed.